Welcome back. You tune into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso right here on SABC3. Now, in a selfless act of compassion earlier this week, the Groenland Water Users Association donated several million cubic meters of water to Cape Town from the Akinov Dam in Grabo. And I'm sure you've seen the videos on social media as well. Quite phenomenal. And uh, this has contributed to day zero being pushed back by almost a month. And this morning we are joined on the line by CEO of the Groenland Water Users Association, Johan Groenewald. Johan, good morning. Good morning, John. How are you? Good. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. And also, a massive thank you to you and the Uferbach community for the massive donation. I'm sure getting the water from uh, the Akinov Dam to the Stienbras Dam was, was quite the task. Quickly take me through the process. Yeah, we're still busy. Yeah, and, uh, it's our pleasure that we started that. And we're just thankful that we could help you guys that side of the mountain or to the Western Cape water supply system. Yeah, we, re we start releasing the water on Tuesday, and it's a, it's a long process. We don't release everything at one stage. Yeah. So it's released into the Palmit River, and then it, uh, it goes down to the Kogelberg Dam, and from there it's been pumping up to the Rugby Dam uh, via the Eskom Palmit scheme, and then it's released from the Rugby Dam with a channel down to the Upper Steenbrust Dam, and then from there it's in the Western Cape Water Supply Network. Yeah, like I've mentioned, those videos that we've seen on social media as well, you just gave the hope in people just seeing that water that's coming out. It's amazing, man. But uh, yeah. your organization calculated that uh, you were able to spare up to 10 million cubic meters. Now, exactly how much is that and how much can be done with that amount of water? Well, if you had this data, uh, so that then uses 500 million meters per day, so 10 million uh, cubic meters is 10,000 million meters. So it's about 20 days water, uh, more sure. or less. Yeah. All right. Now, now of course, uh, <laughs> we're talking about a lot of water here. Um, yes, you pushed back day zero with a month, but how was your region, Elgin El El and Khabo, actually able to spare this amount of water? See, the Abbas, um, despite the, the, the poor rainfall the past few years, we luckily, in the, in the past, we built uh, dams and, 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 and yeah, with... with um, Farmers building the private funds and everything, so we had we have capacity to from surface water in the winter. Uh, the Aiken of Dam, which is the biggest rock private on dam, is the first time in 40 years also that it been didn't overflow. Sure. So uh, it only came to 86 percent for the first time. The other dams fortunately gets full, um, and we sat down at the beginning of October with Department of Water Sanitation, the West um, Cape, uh, City of Cape Town, as well as Department of Agriculture, and um, we made some calculations over the past five years, uh, and then we saw if we restrict our farmers as well as the industries and municipality at, at, at also at a restricted amount, and we can save up to seven and a half, between seven and a half and ten million cubic meters. So that was okay. the offer we made to them in October. So the process started long, yeah, well, was last year already. Okay, well, we cannot thank you enough, myself and Cape Town. We are eternally grateful for the contribution that you've made. But um, I think we can all agree that this is really just a, a plaster on a much bigger wound. We still need to continue our water-saving efforts. But in your professional yep. opinion, with, with day zero now looming, it's the 11th of May, um, what do you think, or do you think we can actually avoid it? Um, or should we start bracing ourselves, in your opinion? No, uh, that's a... The sums that Cape Town and the Department is, is, is due for those year and stuff. Let me just correct. Um, the, this, this water, which we release now, is already calculated into the days here. It's not like the 10 May is going to push a bit further yes, now. It's, yes. it's, already, it's already calculated into that. And I don't think we must um, now jump up and down and say now there's some water. So we must still restrict to our amounts or what, what the restrictions are. And, yeah, I think uh, day zero, uh, we, everybody wants to try and avoid, but uh, it's, it's, it's there. <laughs> we can't just turn our backs on it. So we must respect exactly. day zero at this time. Absolutely. Yuan, thank you very, very much again for that You're very welcome. generous donation. We really appreciate yeah. it. 
like I said, we're thankful. We bless the help you guys. So yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. That's Johan Grunewald, uh, the CEO of the Groenland Water Users Association, with a massive donation from the Aikenhof Dam into Ostienbos Dam here in Cape Town as well. But um, as much as this is a massive step in the right direction, the fight is not over. Day zero is still looming. The 11th of May, and all of us, Cape Tonians, we need to keep saving water in any way possible. Make that a priority.